or waiting for a commercial to make sure we're live. Because when we first started doing the lives, it used to cut us off in the beginning. A commercial. A commercial? Is that what I said? No, that's what I... <laughs> oh, commercial. When you were little. Little, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's an ad, but I haven't... Have I gotten We need like here? a little intro song or a countdown or something. Mm -hmm. One of these days we'll have fun equipment. I think we're... I think we're live. I can't skip any of these ads, just to double check, but yeah, we're good. Okay. Hey friends, happy Wednesday Friends Day. I'm so excited you're here with me in the studio. We're gonna, oops, before I say what we're gonna do, Emily is here with me. Hello. <laughs> yeah, she, just leave me out. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave her out. She does all the important stuff behind the scenes. We're gonna, so I had a couple of people ask me how I paint, I call them sweepy skies, um, simple skies, like this barn one we did not too long ago. I did come back and add a couple little clouds. But how do, how do I do that? And I do tell you my colors in those, that video too, but I thought we would do a demo because it might be helpful if we just break it down a little bit. And then this one's posting Friday, July 1st, 2022. It has the same sky. Similar colors to the last one I just showed you. Um, it's thalo blue, green shade, and neutral gray five and white. Of the, in both these last two paintings. Um, Emily, I guess on the big easel, or this is wood, it could go anywhere. Okay. It, it, I was gonna, I was saving the big easel for... Okay, yeah, that's fine. This guy. And we're gonna move here in a second, but just like an hour or so ago, I did a couple little five by seven uh, canvas panels with ultramarine blue. So this is what we're gonna do tonight. Okay. At night. <laughs> yeah, Emily, we're gonna. I'm gonna grab my phone and we're gonna fly over behind me to my art table. Emily likes it that we're at night. <laughs> well, and um, I feel I feel like we had a weird long break because we only we had a week off and then. Oh yeah, and I had. And then we did a week and then. Or two weeks. One did, did we do one or two weeks and then all of a sudden the internet was broken so we. Oh look at that! I think wow. I'm gonna scoot it just a smidge, guys. Sorry about all the wiggling. Well, now I wiggle it too. So look at that! I set it up every time, but a lot of times I don't. I don't get it. Yay! Okay, I'm just sitting down on my stool, making sure I'm not standing on cords. All right, so I am. Um, I just used a sheet of canvas that comes in a pad, so it's canvas. Um, this one was from U.S. Art Supply. Usually I get it from Michael's with a coupon. I must have just grabbed it when I was Amazon shopping. Does it say anything? Eight ounce, triple primed. So it actually might be pretty thin canvas because a lot of times they, sometimes they'll say like eight ounce and then 12 ounce primed because the priming makes it thicker, heavier. Anyway, I think it's really fun to practice on those. Just gonna throw this on the ground. Okay, and then I taped it to a piece of cardboard I have tight quarters tonight. This was an old sketch pad or something. I just kept the back of it. This is artist tape, in case you're curious. Um, it's a little less gluey. Like, I use masking tape. But here, I happen to buy a new roll. I buy it from Blick. Um, it's just a little lower tack, a little nicer to your stuff, I, I think. You guys can let me know in the comments if you like it, use it. And then... I've been not doing ultramarine blue skies, and I actually really like this. This is ultramarine blue and neutral gray five. Let's see if I can find my paint colors. We're going to do what I usually do so you guys can see that. Oh, that's thalo blue. <laughs> Here's ultramarine blue. It's a little more purple. And then I, neutral gray. I, I put a little neutral gray five to mute it down so it's not straight out of the tube. You could mix a little black and white and make a gray. You could put a little orange and a blue to mute it down. Okay, this is a disposable palette. I don't even know. I've had it forever. I've had it forever and I quit using it when I was saving my palettes and have more than one painting going. Oh, got it from Blick. 9 by 12. I have it this way because it's all curled up and abused on the ends here. So I turned it this way. Okay, does that set the table? I'm gonna put out some paints and then we can compare the colors. One thing I was wondering, Emily, should I put like a little green, like a green line or something? Or is it okay to do 
How do I do the backgrounds like I did on these panels? Does, oh, that make, um, does my question make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like do you add a little bit of ground in there? Like, I feel like I did for the sunset where I ended up putting a couple little trees to help it make sense. Yeah, put a couple, uh, a so little, a little green, a or little green to, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. We'll start out with Hooker's Green then, you guys. How's everybody doing tonight? I can see, I've got my iPad to my right, and I can uh, see a couple of. I can't see the names, but I can see a couple people. We have Suzanne, um, Suzanne B, Lori, or Lori and Susie Graham. Oh, hi, hey, ladies! Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'm just going to use neutral gray five because that's what I do. I think the point of this demo is like, well, how does Annie do it? There, you can do it a million different ways. Oh, I thought I had a cat hair. I think it's just a scrape or something. <laughs> oh, my cat Freckles. Um, you'll used to if you've been following us, you've heard her on. Um, she was more vocal on the afternoon on the lives. lives. Yeah. <laughs> well, she might. She slept all afternoon, although she went someplace. I don't know yeah, where. she left. Once I wasn't giving her enough attention, she left. Yeah. Um, she's shedding the worst I've ever seen her shed. I'm like, oh. Yeah, and I mean, Mango's puffing really bad. Like, when she bolts, she leaves her little, like, fur puffs. Titanium but whites. Go I ahead. haven't, um, I, she is not shedding the way that Freckle is shedding. Yeah. So, a lot of times, I just mute down my color. Um... Because I want it to go back into the background, like on that barn painting. And I really, I want my sky and my ground, well, that barn painting, I did some really colorful ground. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of times I, I would like to mute my background and then use more out of the tube colors for, um, wow, I really like mixing on this. It's been a long time since I've mixed on a disposable palette. <laughs> Forgot how much I like the wax papery feel. Um, I like, sorry, I like to uh, just mute my background colors, so. You don't necessarily have to. Uh, I'm just showing you what I do. I wonder if you could almost, um, I don't know, like uh, line that with, like line one of your plates with wax paper. But then it's like, it'll scooch, whereas that's more of like a solid pad. Oh well, yeah, you could. Oh, uh -huh. there's the cat. I don't know if you guys could hear her, but the, the cat's <laughs> making her presence known. Yeah. And she'll like, she knows where I am, and she'll stand in the hallway and just howl, like, where are you? Yeah, there's, like, one of, the, like, two locations, really, in the house yeah. that you'd be throughout the most of the day. I know, it's just, it's just the saddest meow on the planet. I'm not going to worry about whether my um, horizon line's straight here. Let's see. I'm going to paint on that side. So what you can do is take the end of one of your brushes or your, one of your knives and burnish it. That might be a decent little tip. Okay, am I in frame? I am in frame. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'm just gonna put some green down so we have something that says grass. A little white, a little green. And then one thing too is instead of painting up into the tape, if you think of it, I don't always think of it, kind of paint down. So you don't push the paint up, paint up and underneath, but that's really light grass. That is light grass. That's all right. And I'm not going to frame this, so I don't know why I'm being, <laughs> I'm being me. I like to, I like to go slow and steady. <laughs> I like to putz, don't I? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So in theory, I'm going to put a little more paint on there. Do I have a cat hair? Is that a bent? That's a bent hair. So in theory, oh, it's going to dry fast. I've got a fan blowing into the studio. I turned off the overhead fan, but that actually be good. Emily won't have to use the hair dryer. Mm -hmm. We'll just let it dry. So what I keep trying to say here is in theory, the grass would be darker up front. You can put just put it in here. Let's just do it horizontally. You don't have to have up and down. And then a little lighter. Woo! Let's grab some water. I think... Um, a little lighter as you go back. So you never do really like the backgrounds. And even in your videos, if you do the backgrounds, they're... Time-lapsed. Time-lapsed. So I think this is the fastest we've all ever seen your brush move. <laughs> no. 
because my in the time lapse my brush just jumps oh, all it over does, the place. It does. It does move very. <laughs> oh, this was a one inch uh, flat brush from Low Cornell. I always forget to do that. I'm cleaning it off. All right, we have grass. People get excited. I have a. I'm gonna take a drink because. I end up putting water on there and a little extra more paint than I plan on. I have Diet Coke. Emily made me, I always can't show you, she made me cute crochet koozies and she has her here. <laughs> she puts her little logo label on it. It's so cute. Isn't that cute? The LH is for local honey. It's local honey on Etsy, Emily. I'm going to plug yeah. you. Yeah, yep. I, you already could tell it's plugging yet. Except I don't, I guess I don't, I don't have those koozies on there. Cause they're usually no, the koozies like, aren't on there. I'm yeah, I've just used my, like, because you always, I feel like I always, I mean, everyone would, but I end up with stray little balls of, or would it be a full, I don't know if you'd call it a skein, but I end up with stray bits of yarn that can't make much of anything. So it's either like I would Frankenstein something or, um... I don't know why I thought of it, but I guess I've seen, I have seen people make, um, for like, um, oh, like seltzers and things like that, like White Claws and Trulies, they'll make like ones out of the, almost like, oh, like hiking cable or something, you know, I don't know what you'd call that, cord? Paracord, there we oh, go. Yeah. Out of paracord. Sorry, sweetie. I was like, I, nothing was coming to mind. <laughs> yeah. And I'm thinking, of course, this isn't drying fast after I said it would. Oh, you're fine. But um, I've seen people make, like, the cute, cute koozies that, like, fit your seltzer drink out of, oh, like, paracord. Yeah. yeah. And so I was like, oh, I could just make you the... And you, I mean, you use one every day. It used to be um, oh, paper my... towel and rubber bands. <laughs> yeah, because my glass sweats so bad. Well, because I like to load up with ice. And I don't mind if it gets a little watered down because I want the cold more than the, mm -hmm. you know. So I load it up with ice and then now I'll just drink the ice water. Oh, gosh darn, that thing is still wet. <laughs> I think I'm just going to peel it and move forward and I'll we'll try not to drag my arm through it. Here, I'm going to scoot this. So when you, when you pull it, pull it away from your paint. Oh, now I've got a cat here in there. <laughs> Jeez. I have been picking cat hairs out of paintings a lot. Isn't yeah, that cool? since she's shedding so bad, I can't imagine how much you are digging them out. Honey, would you take this? Yes. Because I'm getting messy already. It's kind of wet. Yeah, it's fine. I'm good. Okay. Like my grass? We almost need like a little, um, or I should just move, I guess this doesn't happen a lot, never mind. I was going to say, I should move the trash can near you so you can just dump. I could. I could just throw it on the uh, tablecloth, the vinyl tablecloth that's on the floor. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to put out some paint. You can do that with any brush. If you'd like a small brush, um, you could use a filbert. This is a one-inch filbert. <laughs> I should have talked about it because like it's... There's like hair everywhere. <laughs> um, you know, use whatever brush you like. So I'm going to use, I have lots of blues here. I have a cobalt blue. Um, I showed you the ultramarine blue. That's a little more purple. You can even kind of tell when you look at the printed. It's not going to be exact, but you can kind of tell this has a little more yellow in it. It's a little greener. This is a little, has a little more red in it. Oh, it says blue shade though. Oh, green shade, I mean. Hmm. To me, it still looks redder. What is? What's the name of it? Uh, ultramarine blue, ultramarine blue green, green shade. shade. Oh, okay. I thought it was a red shade until I read it. Um, I've done cerulean blue for skies. You can use it. the whole point is you can use any blue you want. But I'm going to use one of my favorites, which is thalo blue green shade. It's kind of getting old. I need to use it up. I can tell it's getting old because it's a little cottage cheesy, a little, <laughs> little thick. I can picture that consistency. It's the, all my ultramarines have done that, I guess. Well, this is the Thalo blue green shade. Um. Oh, that is the my ultramar. I know, or maybe it's just it's a, a little blue. Sticky. I don't know if you guys can see it on the video. I've noticed that if I keep blues forever, they're always the first to cottage cheese. The one that does it for me is burnt umber usually. Mm. I don't know if it's just bad luck and timing. 
I'm just going to go half and half. I don't know if I'm going to like it. but So one thing the gray does too, it's just a convenience color. You could mix it with black and white. Um, but it also lightens it, which I like. Yeah, that's a little sticky. And I just do it so it's not, because you can see how intense that is on the um, palette. And it doesn't look much grayer. I always forget what the proportions are. So I just mix it until I think it's muted enough. And then if you don't want to mute it, just try straight up out of the tube sky and see what you think. This is what I did the Christmas ones too. Is the ultra is the thalo blue green shade and the neutral okay. gray five. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. But I really have them kind of greeny gray. Yeah. There's a lot more gray in those. Would you mind grabbing the church? Sure. It's not the grayest one of the three over there, but Let's the see other if two. I can make oh, yeah. it there. The other two are stuck on the wall. I did it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So this is thalo blue green shade with more neutral gray five in it and white. The trees are straight up hookers green. I think out of the tube I might have added some black. No, that's not out of the tube. I added black to it. But that's it. We did a version of this with um, kind of berry colors, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yeah. Add more. I'm making a huge puddle, puddle here. Should we pull it out maybe? So I'm making my puddle bigger and bigger and it doesn't change as much. And then we'll have two options to work from. Ooh, then we could do it. The sky gets grayer as it goes towards the horizon line. Get real spicy with it. Well, a little atmospheric perspective. <laughs> yeah, real spicy. Really spicy. Let's get spicy tonight. <laughs> okay, I'm just cleaning off my palette knife a little bit. I'm not real, I don't get too, con it's pretty messy. I don't get too... <laughs> I just want it clean enough to mix again, you know, but it, it needs a good uh, alcohol cleaning. All right, should I, is there a brush, you know, filbert or flat that you guys want to see? I think I go for the flat a little more often. Um, it doesn't matter. I Maybe. guess how do you typically, how I would want to see is how you typically achieve the sweepies. Right. Okay, I usually use a flat. I have used both because if this is like in the bathroom and drying and I don't want to go fetch it, I just grab a different brush. Okay, so you want to kind of think darker at the top, lighter down to the bottom. <gasps> we're starting. Yay, we're almost dry. <laughs> um, the other thing, too, so uh, here's, I don't know if you can see it at this angle. So I'm starting up. You're kind of going down and then back up. You don't have to be that exaggerated, but you're kind of sweeping the floor. And if you get brush marks, it doesn't always matter. These little things are kind of brush marks. They don't show real well. Um, but sometimes they just look like little clouds and things in the sky. There's a little brush mark. Sometimes it's a brush mark with paint. I don't, you really can't see it. I could see it better before it was dry. It's like a little disturbance in the force. It's just where the corner of the brush Made a mark. Okay. Whew. Sorry about the, oh, sorry if that blowing was loud. I just, I was trying to get the fuzz <laughs> off. Okay, I'm going to start with a the little bit bluer blue and some white. I'm actually going to load up both sides of my brush. And you can mix it and make it nice and neat. And I just kind of aim towards, I just kind of aim towards my belly button in this case because I'm sitting off center. And like, oh, now my brain's going, oh, that's too light. Lighten it up. I'm like, okay, it's too dry. So I dip my brush in a little bit of water. And it, you just practice. And it never turns out the same for me. Oh, there was a, here, I shouldn't have done it. I had a brush mark there. <laughs> and I, I painted it right out. Um, Chase popped in with his 999 and the little goat emoji. Chase, man, thank you, thank you, thank you. I so appreciate it. I gotta, I gotta remember to stop when I get a brush mark because I keep <laughs> there. I don't know if you can see it. 
It's so faint. It's right there. No, you can, yeah. You don't need to worry about it too much. And then if it dries on you, just let it dry. So sometimes I'll have two corners. I usually try to make them a little different. Sometimes I'll have them quite, this, like these two are different. One's dark, one's light. Um, this, these, this one's not quite so different. Um, and I actually could get a little lighter as I go down. Sometimes you have to wait and see how it dries and come back and maybe put some more white in. This is really aqua color. I think I want more gray in it. Well, this could be a fall sky. Which one? The bluer or the... This is the one I'm working on right now. Oh, yeah, like um, August. Once it's like, oh, there's no clouds kind of. Is that what you're talking about or no? Yeah. 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 I'm going to grab the grayer because I think I'm going to like it better. Of course, sometimes it can look stormier. It's kind of a crapshoot. Yeah, nice you thing, can go deep and stormy. The nice thing about um, acrylics is just let it dry enough and you can paint over it. Yeah, Lori says, I can't get clouds. I've tried sponges and different types of brushes. So this might be... Well, this is... You, I have streaky clouds in the sky yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. I'm Avoid the, having to paint clouds, but you still get the effect of... Mm -hmm. Um, like a, I don't know, like those clouds that are just kind of misty, cloudy. Yeah. And then Bonita says, love Annie's description. Set the table and sweep the floor. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I want to say that ages me, but I'm not sure it does. It might just be weird. <laughs> <laughs> I think I kind of like the grayer better, but you know what's kind of nice is the, so the atmosphere does look, gray. it's bluest when you look straight up. And it, as you look through all that atmosphere out onto the horizon, it, it's grayer. Now, I'm sure you can find a photo where it's not. Oh, I linked a reference photo in this video's description that was about the... It was hard to find a plain reference photo. I'll plop it in the... I think it was in the thumbnail, but I'll also just plop it in the yeah, I'm chat. not going to worry too much about my grass line here. Just kind of go over it. So that is how I do it, and we're pretty much done. But I'm going to let it dry if I stop playing with it. So I just kind of, I'm making X's too. I change direction. So now there I'm going to get kind of a, a streaky cloud because I went over drier paint. Mm -hmm. And I can feel it dragging. I could, I could risk pulling it up because I can really feel it dragging. So I could come back and put a little blue. So you could play and play and play. Should I stop? I, I tend to not stop when I should stop. Let it dry. Let, oh, there's a brush mark, but I'm, I don't think that's going to bother me. There's a nice strong one. Or should I? I don't know. There, I just got rid of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm squirrely. Yeah, it does feel like we're, I feel like we're doing the most simple, not simple, but like in comparison to like. Oh, what I'm working on. Something. When you're in the middle of something or painting a pet portrait, like we're just doing the straight up background. The stuff, the thing that you already usually have done, and you feel extra squirrely. <laughs> I am extra squirrely. Probably because I don't have to think. Yeah. I do this, and I, lo I love it because it's like once you get the sweep down, and even if you don't get the sweep down, you can come back with another layer. Okay, stop, Anne. Stop. Oh, you got the Anne. Anne. It wasn't Anne. You gave yourself the Anne. It's like, you know, pretty soon the middle name's going to break out here. Oh, and I actually kind of like that, but it's a little white. I don't know if that's going to knock that down a smidge. Okay, so I'm going to do a little commercial while that dries. I'm just cleaning out my brush. So I hope that helps. I do it fast. I mean, you could do it slower, but to me it's more fun to just kind of get into a rhythm. And then you just kind of, like I'd see a brush mark and forget to stop. Mm -hmm. um, you just can keep going until you like it or just let it dry. I'm going to let it dry and we'll come back and do some more on top of it. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that makes a little bit of sense. I, I, it's more fun for me to go a little faster. But there isn't a speed requirement for doing that other than your paint does dry. And if you've got a fan blowing, you know, it's going to... That's another reason for me to go quicker. So it's a wet-on-wet -wet blending but not blending super smooth. I kind of like the grass in there. I'm glad we did it. Yeah, I like the grass too. The other thing, another reason you might need another coat is like, I think you, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll pick it up. I've got my, my actor's marks here. I got a little piece of tape for the corner. 
What do you call those? Spot? I don't know. Your mark? Yeah, your mark. To walk you, up to you, your mark? Yeah, you walk to your mark. All right. So when acrylic paint dries, it shrinks a little bit. And I don't know that I mind that because it can just be part of the painting. Or you can put another layer coat on to cover where it's, the canvas is popping through. Okay. Okay, I'm going to miss these. All right, so commercial time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think I always do three. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank, you. thank you. And then you can hear me <laughs> smiling like my voice kind of chokes up. <laughs> um, Sherry H for sending money. Jeannie D for sending money. And Rebecca or Deborah C for sending money. Thank you so much. Great big happy art hugs. It, it just means the world to me. I bought canvases, five by seven canvas panels and um, yellow oxide paint. So thank you, it helps bunch. It really does. Plus it's just so fun, I love the comments. I answer, I miss them sometimes or sometimes YouTube or Facebook doesn't tell me, but I try to answer everybody's comments and that's super fun for me. I hope it's fun for you guys. So thank you. Friday, July 24th? Friday, June 24th. June, yeah. I've got June written really clear right there. Friday, June 24th. I've got a geranium painting that's posting. And there's a, there's a traceable already up on my website. Is that? I'm trying to hold it mm -hmm. low and yep, not stick it in. to my. <laughs> and then this means dark area. I ended up scribbling it in. You guys can give me feedback if you like that. So you can see the shadow shapes. I'll mm -hmm. show you how it turned out. Yeah, I was going to say, I think when you see the painting, it, it tells, it'll, it helps you out Here, with you what know that what? means. This is making me, so, well, shoot, I don't want to move things. Can you, oh, you could almost see it. You're good. You are in. So I was going for looser, more impressionistic. You could paint it tighter. I really like the lighting on this guy. Isn't that fun? Mm-hmm. Uh, yellow oxide. Um, I use straight up cad red medium hue instead of mixing a red because it's a little bit more opaque. So that was kind of fun. And then, I mean, those leaves. If you look at a leaf, I mean, they're not the greatest leaves on the planet. But look how fun it is. I mean, it's loose. The, mm -hmm. the light and the values are what really sell you. But that's coming up. Um, I already forgot. Friday, June 24th. <laughs> um, I'm, oh, no. Yeah, do you just want to? I'm going to stick it right here. Oh, okay. I did that on purpose. Okay. And I forgot I had a plan. And then, one more little show and tell. Oh, I haven't seen that. You didn't send me a pic. I didn't send you a picture of that. So they're all waiting suspense while Aww. I'm showing it. I love that camera. background. Isn't that nice? Yeah. I, I still could have muted it more. I, I mean, like how we're still talking about it. I know. It, and you're I know. not showing it. I know. Well, <laughs> this is live. Yeah. Sunday, June. I like the Sorry. They, no, it's okay. Sunday, <laughs> June 3rd. I put 2022 on there just because in case somebody's watching this a year from now. Um, this is a Carolina Wren. It has a traceable. I don't have the traceable with me. Um, but it's posting Sunday, July, t July 3rd. I, I was trying to go for looser, um, a muted background, and just kind of impressionistic background. But I really liked it because I'm calling it loud and proud because it's got its mouth wide open. I, his belly looks so soft. It, well, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I think that's the end of the commercials. I, I hope that was long enough to see that one. Um, I don't like this one up close so much because it's looser and I'm so used to tight. Oh, no, I like it. But him. when you look at it, I look at it like at your distance. I love the colors. Uh -huh. and, yeah. yeah. Well, and then I'm playing with compliments a mm -hmm. little bit. Um, Lori says, uh, love the plant painting. You did great as usual. Oh, thank you. I only painted one other geranium, and it was with a, with a palette knife, so that was kind of fun. We well, did the, isn't there a geranium sketch with pastels? Or yeah, that's I... why I did the sketch. Okay. Oh, sorry, did I say draw paint? Yeah, you said painting, I think. I don't know. I don't what know. I said. I can't rewind. Well, I guess I can rewind it. I could. I could fact check, but yeah, okay. We were talking about the same thing, the sketch. That was a couple weeks ago. It's almost dry. Ooh. Emily. As long as I'm, I'm going to fan. Are you going to buy fireworks? I saved you. No. <laughs> You're not? No. Oh, I thought well, since you have a house and no, space I to blow things up. <laughs> hopefully. Well, no, because then I feel inclined to, like, go pick them up. You know? Oh, well, would Chase like a coupon ad thing? <laughs> Maybe. I bet we get one because we get, like, um, ads we get that, to the... That oh my <laughs> You get that junk. I just threw the... Yeah, we get the we get the ads to the house now, so... I just threw the um, ads at her. It's yeah. It's kind of loud. I don't know if we... Um, I assume we'll see what... Because we can literally see... Like, our deck... 
I, we're at like the tippy top of the neighborhood. Oh, our, the back of our house faces the tippy top of the neighborhood. Yeah. And so we can see, um, I mean, we're kind of, we're in the middle-ish of the neighborhood, but we can see to like the next major street behind us. So I'm wondering how much we'll see, you know? So if I come over, you're not going to get sparklers for your mom? Oh, I don't think we're, I, I, at least I wasn't planning on spending any money. I on can spend some money. You should keep that. <laughs> because, well, yeah, but then you get the, the, the ones that don't make any sounds <laughs> if you get them. Yeah, I don't like the loud ones, which, we is, just, which is most fireworks. I remember as a kid, we would do, like, you know, the big fireworks. And especially because Dad would, like, drill down two of the, like, what are those called? The, um... Oh, yeah. Well, we would do um, artillery shells. Artillery shells. They have the big... The tubes. Tubes. And he would drill stand. down two and then, like, twist to the... Like, the... The whatever he would, he would attach two of the launching two or two or three of the launching tubes to a big piece of plywood so yeah. it was stable. Yeah. And then um but it was, so we would go we'd do those and then there would be this like intermission in between all the big fun fireworks of one of your cones that's just like silent and really bright and it's like <laughs> and that was always your favorite part. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just well, I, didn't, the I didn't like it because they were too close. They'd rain down on us. Yeah. Okay, so now did our sky dry too dark? I don't know. I kind of like that dark sweep, but... I like this sweep. I like this one. We could lighten it, or would we want to... We could put some clouds in. Well, I'm not sure what we want to do. What do we want to do? If there's Is anything that... you want to see, let me know. Okay. Because I do have a cloud video where I show all the clouds, and I do have a sunset video now. So sometimes... I might paint on it like this and go, just wait. I always dislike my backgrounds. I'm like, just paint the painting on top of it and see what you think. Because sometimes, like if I'm painting white daisies, you want some contrast. Mm -hmm. I was going to paint white daisies on here, but I think I have enough contrast. Um, I don't think that's too light. Um, if I'm painting um, a dark brown cow, you know, I might, that's pretty much straight up white. It's like, how big do we want it? And then am I ruining it? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, my paint's a little thin. How do I know? Because I can really see the canvas texture underneath it. It'll be okay. I've got a nice thick layer of paint. And I'm like, okay, that's too light. Maybe. Grab just a little bit of blue. Now I'm going, oh, that's too dark. But see, that's kind of, can you see how I'm getting like, Wispies right there, that's kind of fun. I'm getting brush marks too when I lay it down a little bit. That's kind of fun. I kind of like that. Now, now we're kind of leaning into the cloud, or yeah, the best cloud painting. Is that what I, best how to paint clouds video or something? Whatever I call that thing. I don't remember, Emily. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to look? Nah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, um, when you were doing your commercial, um, this is very, like, the un, if you look at your cloud painting, the final, whatever that video title is, the best cloud painting or something like that, um, uh, kind of fun. this is just, like, the beneath, like, what's underneath all yep. your clouds. Yep. It's both of those videos, it's what I start with. Except mm -hmm. for I don't, since I'm going to paint clouds on top, I don't play with it as much. Yeah. That's actually kind of neat. And see, I've got a lot of brush marks here, but I don't, I think that works. We really need a cat cam, because Freckle is on oh. display. I could, well, I could take it off. Mm. She's laying on her back, spread eagle, in the sun. Yeah. I, 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 somewhere, I don't know if it was a TikTok or something, I saw that someone refers to that as a cat being on display because oh. most cats don't like when you touch their belly and, like, yeah. or they're just laying like that because, you know, they're hot. Like, I bet she's a little steamy. She's probably hot. It's pretty so well here. she's laying like that to, like, cool out, cool off the, all of her creases. I don't know. But, um... I've heard someone referred to it as they're on display because that you can look but you can't touch the belly. So, so I just went too far there because I really liked that, and I didn't stop. But let's just switch gears here. And we'll just make this corner darker. <laughs> I hope this is helpful. A couple people ask, and actually, you, Emily, you said it once or twice to me too that I should do this. Mm-hmm. Probably because a couple people asked. Someone, yeah, someone had said in, not like, 
just like a couple lives ago, they had said um, that they love the background or like, how do you do the background? Because the background is always, we always have the background done. Well, that's so I can get it done. Yes. Halfway decent amount of time. But since we always have the background done, yeah. no one ever gets to see how to do the background. So. I think this guy was better before I did, I went too far with the sweepy ups. I don't know. I like the dark parts. And then, okay, why do I, here, here's maybe something I should share. Why do I, why am I doing it kind of like a half smile, a letter C, a parenthesis? Um, because it'll help direct you into the painting a little bit. And one of the goals as an artist is to entertain the person who sees the final painting. Um, if you're in a gallery, you want them to stop and look at your painting for a while. So you really try to suck them in <laughs> and, and not have them move on to the painting right next to it, you know? Mm -hmm. And then, but this directs your eye into, I, it doesn't even matter where your subject is going to be. Even if like my star of the show is going to be right there or uh, right there, I'm still kind of generally saying come into the painting. So that's why I do that quite a bit. I have a poppy painting where I've just gone horizontal. You could. The big one? Yeah, I'm oh, not, yeah. I'm, I don't want you to get yeah, it's it. it's way too big. Um, yeah, I like the sweepy down too. It also gives you... Um, well, it gives you some clouds. It looks like clouds. That and it also... I feel like it adds... Rather than just the straight across, it, it creates more depth. It does. In the painting. And then so what I do is I put my brush down and then I lift up. I probably should say that for just a one stroke. When I just, if I'm, you know, doing a whole bunch of painting, I, I, I lift up on both ends. Eh. I'm just cleaning off my brush a little bit. Mm -hmm. So do I want a little, do I want to push it a little bit? Just cause I have, this isn't going to be the longest demo in the, in the world. Yeah. Plus, I'm trying to think of what someone might want to see or know. So I made a little more gray, a little more white. I don't know if that's going to be light enough. And if it's not, you just you kind of just test it. Because, see, this to me is too close in value after I darkened it. Oh, I could show you how to make it look like it's raining. So I kind of, I don't always have my, I've got a point there, kind of got a hint of a point there, and now I've kind of got a point over here. Try to be a little bit random. Don't stack them all up like a chevron. If you do, you can just fix it. Random is the hardest thing for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what I should do. I should let it dry, and we could put a little color. We could warm up our sunset. Ooh. 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 I can turn from... Oh day to sunset real quick. So if you want rain, just, I don't know if I'm going to have the right value here, but just like a little up and down. Yeah, I've done better. <laughs> I get it though, because that is what it looks like when it's off in the distance. Oh, thanks, Em. I've done better. play with it. I want to let it dry though so we can do we can mm -hmm. warm it up and stop stop playing. Um a while ago Susie said um the geranium painting is awesome and the car uh the Carolina Wren is fantastic too. Thank you. I want to paint another one. I I'll see if this one sells. We don't I don't think we have that bird here in, in Nebraska. And I, I don't I've know. never seen him. And I think it's a songbird. It's a new bird to me. Carolina Wren. And Oh, what is a songbird? I don't know. know what that means, but... Well, so a cardinal's a songbird. Oh, they sing? I don't know. Yeah, well, they have, like, a, a whistle that... Oh, okay. Besides, like, a, cardinals are kind of... Chirp isn't the right word, but they kind of make a different noise, and sometimes they kind of... Can I do it? I can't. I'm not going to try to do it. <laughs> it might be loud. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh -huh. Let's see. W range map? There we go. We'll see if that tells me where they go. Oh. Here, since you guys are with me, I'll... I'll uh... If one got lost... Maybe he's here, but no. No, we don't have him They kind of live, like, obviously in the Carolinas, but they live, like, um, east side of, east part of, middle to east part of Texas, all the way, you know, to Florida, and then up to, um, what, up to 
like bottom of New York, Rhode Island, that kind of area. Oh, interesting. And then the farthest they come north to us would be like, um, not that far, um, probably like half of Kansas. <gasps> they come close. The east side of Kansas. Yeah, they they they're not that far down into Kansas, but so that's what I'm saying. Like, if one got lost, if one you got know. Lost. He might end up here, but it doesn't look like they're native to here. Since we're waiting for this to dry a little bit and you guys are here, so I painted this, I think, with three colors. Um, phthalo blue, no, Prussian blue, raw sienna. Um, oh, no, I ended up putting out some magenta. And then uh, hooker's green, so four colors, plus black and white. And then at the very end, I just put a little bit of yellow in those two areas, I think it really helps it glow. You'll have to let me know what you think. But that's sort of the, that's the spoiler for the very end of the video. <laughs> <laughs> but since you guys are here. Um, in reference to the, not, not the, I don't think it was, it was a bit ago before the bird. So in, re in reference to your, what we're working on, um, Suzanne B said, you make it look so easy, crying laughing face. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, well, I've done, how many skies have I done like that? Well, I'm looking right over here at my um, pirouetting. Well, you do, I think you, it's a horse, it's the same thing, but horizontal. Yeah, anything you have a background in anymore, it's kind of what you do. Yeah, because I don't, I don't like it when the clouds, the clouds can overtake the painting. You kind of have to decide what yeah. the painting's about. Mm -hmm. And so I get scared and put no, I, I, these are clouds. <laughs> yeah. I don't even risk it, but I did in the. Um, There's clouds in that cow above your head. Yeah, and then the rooster, uh, chicken-hearted, that, that's not what we call it on YouTube, but the chicken-hearted, with the chicken with the daisy. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, I went back and put a few clouds in it. Mm -hmm. Or I can't remember exactly. I might have had some in it, and I emphasized them. The, the paintings blend together, because I paint. I paint every day. Okay. Is that dry enough? I could use a hair dryer, but... If it's not dry enough, I can fill the gap. I think it is. Okay. And then I, I, then I feel a cold <laughs> spot. Yeah. Okay, should we use, um, that's my new one. I don't know where my other one is. Should use a little yellow oxide? Could use some yellow. Could use some raw sienna. Where's my other, maybe this is the one I have. Maybe I used my other one up. Where? Am I still in frame? Everything's cool. Oh, I could actually... Oh, my green is about out of frame. My tape is off. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad, though. You're fine. Ooh, I love a new tube. Um, I buy... I've been buying more basics because I can't always find the heavy body when I go... And I don't want to shop around, you know? I just go to the closest store and I want to be done type of thing. Um, you can tell it has white in here because that... Square is solid. It's not transparent. And plus you can kind of see that it's probably got to have some white in it. I don't know what the... I have, never, I have yet to go to uh, Liquid Texas website and look up the numbers. I'm thinking those tell you how they made it, but it might not. Um, we could use water. Let's do it two ways. I like to use matte medium, too, if I'm going to glaze. Um, you could use gloss medium. I just don't like it because then I have a shiny part of my painting and it bugs me. Um, plus when I'm done, I want to photograph it, so I don't want the shiny part. Um, so I use matte medium. What else could you use? You might be able to use um, extender. Kind of read the labels and say like how much you can thin it, mix it, that kind of thing. I'm going to put some matte medium out. I was so busy talking about it. Oh, sorry, that was loud. I didn't put any out. Okay. Oh, yeah, I heard that. The lid open in the headphones. Oh, it was loud. Yeah. Um, gosh, we could use any brush. I'm <laughs> like, what? I have too many choices. Should I use, like, a flat brush? Because that would seem like it would be not intuitive. Ooh, this is a new one. Mm. I bought a little pack of Artist Loft brushes. I'm going to use one that's not new. <laughs> <laughs> this is a craft brush from Michael's. Okay, so let's do a little water first. So I just put a little bit of water. You know, I just stuck my brush in eighth of an inch. Might be too much. We're gonna. And then how do you know how thin? 
Um, I don't. I just kind of go by feel a little bit after a while. This might be too thick. I might just really dislike this. It's always scary. And then I tend to take my finger because I really don't like that. That's too much. You can paint it out. You can always paint it out. So the water is kind of waking up my paint underneath. You can kind of see that. That's going to dry. There, I think that worked. It just scared me. All right, let's try a little matte medium. I'm going to clean my brush out. Dry it off. I'm going to kind of squeeze it. All right, let's do this. A little matte medium. A little. It says on the jar that you can you shouldn't use a certain amount of matte medium, but I have never had a problem because I to me it's just acrylic paint without any pigment in it. Can thin by adding up to twenty five percent water. That is a little tight. I don't have my new party glasses yet, Em. I know. She she uh, upped my reading. So I can see read a little better, hopefully. All right, so so we're just trying to add a little. Yeah, I like that better. I like them. I always like the matte medium better. And then I just kind of. You can use a paper towel. Let's see. We probably don't want any color in the rain. I tried to put it in the rain over there. I'm just kind of, I'm just scribbling, cleaning my brush off. I actually like that better. You mm -hmm. could call it scumbling if you want to sound arty. Arty farty. <laughs> Let's get arty. Be a cute t-shirt. That's not a new saying. I'm not sure I'm crazy about that one. It's kind of dark. I might go up a little bit in a... So I just chose a smaller brush so I wouldn't put too much on. I was already scared. Now I'm thinking a little bit bigger brush. Oh, I have to get out that one I grabbed. What is this one? Three quarter inch. I think that's bigger than I want. All right, we're gonna get the new brush. Let's say what size it is. Half inch. You know what, I haven't washed them. That could be kind of dangerous. Might have a little I'm going to rinse it off in my clean water. It might have a little sizing or something in it. All right. So what don't we like? Maybe this. Except for then we have almost all our, our soldiers lined up. Well, here, one step at a time. All our cloud soldiers are on the right with color. Oh, and I just got it wet. Isn't that interesting how when you get it wet, it, it, lighten, it looks lighter? Mm -hmm. Once it's cured, it won't do that. Um, I would say a week. You never know, though, with acrylics. It depends on the weather. Well, nothing's happening. I would probably do this step after I painted my, my subject, or at least more of my painting, kind of see where things are lining up with the trees or the barn or the cow or whatever I'm painting. I don't know if I did anything there, guys. I'm kind of leaning to the left so I can see it. I don't know if Emily's looking at me. She'd probably laugh. Oh, you are, yeah. <laughs> you can just topple over right now. Oh, that would be funny. Be exciting. <laughs> they just hear a big crash. Yeah. And then we'll have to do like a... I don't know, like when the TV goes off the air or whatever, and it's the oh, yeah. the colored bars and like the ee. We'll have to do that. Oh, I grabbed matte medium. I'm like, we should put. I'm gonna do that again. I don't know if this will work. <laughs> Give myself a reminder. That's not white paint. Didn't hurt me. So I'm sweeping. If it gets sticky, stop and wait and let it dry. Is that better or worse? 
I want it lighter. I ask and then I answer. I should I should look at the um, my iPad. But I mean, you can paint. You could go. I've got a hunk of junk right there. I don't know if you can see it. You could go and go and go and go and go. Oh, it's really dark on video. Mm -hmm. It's not so dark in person. Oh. That's interesting. It's bluer, too. It's more aqua in person. Hmm. Well, and that could be my iPad. That could be my phone. Mm -hmm. Every every device is, has a slightly different color setting. So to me, I'm looking at more of a fall sky that's aqua. Um, mm. I really dislike it on my <laughs> iPad. I like it so much better in person. That's funny. Here, Em, do you want to see it? Yeah. Oh, what? yeah, it is like a lighter blue. -ier. Oh, it's better on my computer. Yeah. Okay, so it's my iPad that's, that I don't, whoops, that I don't oh, like. Oh, your iPad is way more dramatic. It's too, my iPad is too dark and like making me crazy. Mm -hmm. That's another thing to keep in mind too is the video smooths it out and shifts the color. So, like when I tell you I use Thalo Blue Green Shade and Neutral Gray 5 and you go out and buy the same brand and the same colors and even in the same line, you know, basics and uh, that's Prussian. And heavy body, it's going to look different to you than it does on the video. You just can't help it. But yeah, when I look at this, I want to light it up, lighten it up. It's too dark. What do you guys think? Or do we want to put clouds in? But then they were going into the cloud video, which you can can watch. I don't know. But that is how I do my backgrounds. It is a good tip to put a little color other than blue up in there. It'll look a little more professional. Um, people don't really notice it, especially if you just do a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to end up probably getting too dark here. Ah, I did. You should really probably mix with your palette knife and not your brush. I'm setting a bad example. Yeah. You're going to ruin the... <laughs> well, I'll get too much paint up and then I'll ruin the brush. Yeah, but what's that? The, the top part's called something. The ferrule? The ferrule. Yeah, you'll ruin the ferrule. Oh, I need some water. That's, there's another tip. If it doesn't go for you, that's too much water. You might need some water. Or some matte medium. I kind of like water. I'm going to paint up my Water's room. cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> I use both, but yeah. It just kind of <laughs> depends on what I'm doing. For this, I just like grabbing the water. It's quick. It, Thins it. Now I really lightened it up. You know, I thought the fan was going to drive me nuts, but this is small enough that it's not. Mm -hmm. If you're doing a big painting, there's another. As I, I make comments and I think of things to say, um, just do it in sections. I'll just do like the top corner. And then I might do the center, you know, do the other corner. Because mm -hmm. it's going to dry as I go. And then I can come back and just like I am now, I'm putting more layers over it. Think I like that better or not? Sometimes you have to stop. Like I like to work on more than one painting at once because I get obsessed with this. Like I kind of am right now, live, and it's just good to step away, work on another painting, go have a meal. I don't think I have enough. I was hesitating there because I don't think I have enough color on my brush. And then you'll come back and go, wow, that's pretty good. If I didn't. Some water, it's kind of dragging. It can probably be hard to decide if it's done in the moment. It is. A lot of times I'm like, I just kind of yell at myself, stop. It's good. Move on. Yeah, let I it like dry. It. Let it dry so you get the traceable on it. I'm liking it. Yeah, I think we're done. I just, when I looked at my iPad, it like, ooh, I had a cringe. And that, that time I used the Filbert. I like the... Because it was clean. Um, 
yellow in it because it does help. It does marry the green. Helps marry it. It helps. You wouldn't. I mean, today when I walked, it was a straight up blue sky, not a cloud, not a color. Mm-hmm. So you can find those. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times it helps to. And like this one's pretty much gone, but it's still there. I don't know if you can see it on video, but there's still a little hint of a yellow. Like maybe if I don't have the shadow of my hand. And then even though I painted over my rain, it's still kind of there. You know what? I didn't set my timer. Um, it is six fifty-five. Oh, okay. Well, I think we did it for. I think a if I keep going, it's going to be overkill. It's practice, practice, and patience, and be kind to yourself. And yeah, um, unless someone right now screams that they have to see something. Yeah, or they want to, or they have a question. <laughs> they yeah. want to see a cloud, or they want to. So those are. I mean, that's just kind of like sweepy clouds. What would you call it, Emily? Sweepies. Sweepies clouds. clouds. Sometimes you get little fun streaks or happy Bob Ross accents. I think they're... Like this one, I got an, I kind of a neat little streak. They're more quiet clouds. So quiet they're good skies. for a, a background, for a painting. Simple sky. Simple sky. Yeah, it doesn't overpower the painting. Maybe know? if I put this here, you can see the difference between the phthalo blue green shade. Yeah, that does green it up. Mm-hmm. And then the, the um, even though it's a green shade aquamarine, it's much more purple. Isn't that interesting? I'm assuming you can see it on video. Yeah, that looks so periwinkle in comparison now. It's pretty, I like it. I was yeah. just sure I was going to hate it, cause, and I've never used it, it like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I really like it. I really like it too. <laughs> it's like you shouldn't branch out and try new things. Okay, guys, are we done? Anything else you want to see? Any questions? Was that super confusing? Practice sweeping. Practice sweeping. Yeah. Sweep your floors. I'm waiting for you to tell me there's no other Use questions. Use your swippers. Then. Oh, there's no other questions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, at least nobody has popped in yet, so. Well, I hope this helps. It is so, as I mentioned earlier, it's so fun for me to connect with all of you. It makes my artist's journey and my business 100% better, mm-hmm. a thousand times better. Not so lonely. Not so lonely, but it's fun because I learn stuff from everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, there's plenty of artists that are way better than I am. I watch other YouTube artists. So anyway, um, they already say thanks for hanging out with me. Thank you for all the likes, comments, and shares. Thank you for your support. Great, big, happy art hugs. Emily made this for me. <laughs> And I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.